As the windows shattered and the metal crunched, Amy Fletcher stood in the rain and watched. I know Justin right now is smiling from heaven as much as I am that that reminder of his death is gone now. Exactly six years ago, the easily recognizable green action taxi cab was driven by a predator. Previously convicted sex offender Brian Douglas Horn. That car was one of those things that hurt Justin. The other thing that hurt him sits where he belongs now. Um, he'll wait his, his turn. Horn used text messages to contact 12-year-old Justin Bloxham, acting as a teen girl with the promise of meeting up. Instead, Horn picked Bloxham up in the taxi from his friend's home. No one would ever see Justin alive again. That car, that constant reminder that's out there is finally gone. Fletcher's friends and family stood with her, watching as the taxi was ripped apart. Also there, DeSoto Parish Sheriff Rodney Arbuckle. You, know, you see that it was still a reminder, you know, even for law enforcement and my guys, what, you know, we went through with this. True closure, Fletcher says, can never be achieved after the loss of a child. But letting go of this symbol of Justin's death is another step toward healing. Today is not a day to hurt. Today is a day to celebrate his life.